What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Wayne. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought for a minute it was my channel. All right, go ahead. What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. I'm Isha Wayne. You don't have to say it like that, like I shot you <laughs> down. Today, we're cruising in the 2021 BMW. Cruising in my 6 Okay. In the 2021 BMW M550i X-Drive. This is just a casual video. Um, we've done videos on this car and the AMG E53 from Mercedes. And since they're in the same segment, I thought it would be a good idea to compare the two cars. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the exterior, the interior, and the performance, right? So the exterior of that E53, Isha, you remember Mercedes-Benz loves to have those curves in their cars. Yep. Has a really nice, classy, and elegant look. Um, a lot more styling than BMW does, in my personal opinion. Yes. BMW, um, they're all about having those crisp, straight lines on the side of their cars. And I think that looks great as well. But they always manage to get a lot done with very little styling. I don't know how they do it, but they make the cars look good as right. well. Right. So, in my opinion, the front of the E53 looks aggressive. Uh, more aggressive than this car because of that Panamericana grill with the straight lines going across that grill. I just think it has a nice, angry look to it. And um, overall, I do like the aesthetics of the E53 more. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the exterior of the cars? Um, you know, I definitely think that they're kind of neck and neck to me. You know, I feel like the Mercedes didn't overdo it on the, the, the exterior, mm -hmm. and neither did BMW. However, getting inside both of them, I was blown away. Right, right. So I really feel like the exterior, I mean, of course, Mercedes did a little bit more with their lines, their curvatures, which they naturally do, but I didn't think that it was like so far superior, like above this vehicle. Right, right. And again, and again, they're in the same segment. <laughs> Let me figure out how to turn that off. <laughs> and again, they're in the same segment. Um, so the price point's going to be relatively the same. So when it comes to the interior of the cars, when we got in that E53, you were blown away. You fell in love with that interior. I did. I, I was not expecting that on the inside. The color combination, the interior, I mean, the seats, the dash, I, I, it made me so happy. I, I, I mean, you know, but getting in this vehicle, I wasn't expecting this either. Right. Um, I really, really do like what they've done here, but I probably am going to lean more towards the Mercedes. It was just astonishing. It really yeah. was. <laughs> so when it comes However, to the two cars. I really feel like this one, I'm trying to, this one I definitely feel like it's a classic vehicle. Like, you know, versus the Mercedes, I feel like the Mercedes maybe put a whole lot more into it. Like, I don't know. I just really, really liked it. So when it comes to the two, <laughs> when it comes to the interior, I think the E53 wins hands down. Mm -hmm. um, there was just so much detail going on right. in that car from the illuminated air conditioning vents. Right. Right. Um, the way that the wood trim was incorporated just flowed all the way across mm -hmm. the vehicle. Um, you had the panoramic roof, uh, even the steering wheel in the E53 way more detailed than what yeah. you'll find in this car now the steering wheel feels nice in this car but in the e53 it's That's on a I different this level it's just more like a classic yeah. vibe to me yeah um this is something that it would appeal to everyone Right. It says luxury, but it's not overdone. It's not overdone. So that's why I'm still happy with this, you know. But if you are looking for something that it has all of the bells and whistles, it's definitely that yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. Yep. And then the seating in the Mercedes, I think, was superior as well. Because once you sat in it, it gave you that sensation like, okay, this car is ready to go because but this one's ready to go it is too. the we'll get to that <laughs> but the seating in the mercedes the sideball string just it yes it hugs you and this car the seats are a little bit flat they are right now, now that yeah i feel what you're talking about right mm -hmm. now they both had the heating and cooling and all that stuff multi-contour which is what you would come to expect when you're shelling out anywhere between seventy five thousand and ninety thousand dollars for a car so right. that's fair game 
So where this BMW excels at is the performance. It completely demolishes the E53. I'm just going to be honest with you. This car is powered by a 4.4 liter BMW twin power V8 output 523 horsepower, 553 pound foot of torque and a non M car. This isn't the full fat M5 vehicle. So your zero to 60 is 3.6 seconds, which is insane for a vehicle that's, you know, not the M5, but the same price point as the E53. Now, when it comes to the E53, your power plant is gonna be a three liter straight six with the Mercedes-Benz EQ boost system. The output on that car is 429 horsepower, 384 pound for the torque, zero to 60 in about 4.4 seconds. So this car is a full second faster to 60 than the E53 and it's coming in around the same price point. So if you want performance, the BMW by far is the way to go. Now, the EQ boost system in the E53 is cool because it gives you linear acceleration. There's no lag at all. In this car, I felt a little bit of lag, but I'm already getting to that 60 mile per hour speed <laughs> a full second faster. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's a significant difference. Mm -hmm. I think that um, if you're cross shopping the two, that's something that has to be considered. Um, not many cars in this price point are offering you a V8 like this. It's just, yeah, no. it's the performance is insane. If you've seen our technical review on this vehicle, you'll remember how shocked we were once I floored it. I was not expecting that kind of power out of this car. I'm just gonna be honest. The E53, again, fun daily car to drive. So is this one. But once I put my foot down on the E53, I got the acceleration I expected. Once I put my foot down in this car, I was blown away. Yeah. Like there was some time where I was just searching for words to describe the acceleration we just experienced. It's on another level. So if you're looking at uh, either one of these cars, definitely get behind the wheel. They're both great cars. Um, if you like having plenty of details on top of details, the interior of where that, of that E53 is really where it shines. Um, I think that interior blows this one out the park. But when it comes to performance, the BMW has it by a long shot. That's really not even up for debate. When it comes to exterior design, um, again, that's purely subjective. I like to have curves more, um, which makes the car just flow really well. Like the curves from the exterior to the interior of the E53, to me, I love that design. So. I would go with the E53 as far as the looks, but if it was just sheerly about performance, I'd have to go with this car. They do have all the tech, both have the huge displays each of that you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, Which I like. Both have options that allow you to talk to the vehicle, to adjust different settings. So I mean, it really just comes down to it. What do you guys think about the cars? You've seen detailed reviews of both, you've seen our reactions to the performance in both vehicles. Both sound great. I will admit the V8 in this car, when compared to the E53, sounds better. And you know what? Let me throw in a side-by-side -side exhaust clip right now so you guys can hear the two back-to-back. Yeah, guys can hear this the two back to back. This is what I expect from a BMW interior. As far as a Mercedes, that's what I would expect. Mm -hmm. I think they both handle and perform equally well. I was blown away by this BMW though. Um, comparing the two, I think that it just depends if you're a Mercedes lover or a BMW lover. Right. I think you guys will be equally satisfied with whichever vehicle you were to choose. Yep. So let us know in the comment section, which one would you go with? The 2021 Mercedes AMG E53 sedan or this 2021 BMW M550i xDrive? Let us know in the comment section. 
<laughs> I don't know what you just did. <laughs> Cousin, you don't think I could handle this one, <laughs> but I could. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And until then, I'm Ben Wayne. I'm Isha Wayne, and I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves. <laughs> Thanks, guys.